What are we beelining now? What do we do? What's the point of it all? I think probably universities before we jump on anything else. So let's go mathematics and then apprenticeship. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, oh, more land to my right. If I'm just going to quickly discover the edge of the map as well, because I might be able to get some era score for being the first person to navigate in both directions. Very thin and long map, this one. Very tall, very tall. Well, that is recorded history. That is very tasty. First of all, I'm going to pop old Magnus into a city that I think I'm going to be producing a lot of settlers from. Maybe this one on this gigantic island? Or maybe do we want to stop Portugal from settling all over this island? Oh, it's a, it's a good choice really between the two, but I'm going to pop him up in this direction only because there's a couple of chops out here that would be quite handy. I've also now got access to this delicious marble. Mmm, so good for your diet. Better munch that up immediately. Does anyone want to buy it? No, that's for me. Next cool thing is Bandar Brunei, which nobody has found, seemingly, somehow. So that's two envoys on me, and then I can give one and just suzerain immediately, giving me actually all of the information I need about this set of islands. Oh, that's amazing. Huge landmass. I need to prioritize taking the whole of this if I can. Yeah, that's really cool. So much space, but it's going to become very heavily competed for with France and Portugal just messing around. Ugh. And finally, and probably most excitingly, there is natural philosophy. Urban planning is fun. Ilkham is fun. Conscription's fun, but I'd rather have a production of the gold. So I'll pop that in and 53 science is the result. Absolutely amazing. Now let's pump a couple of builders out. We can see we can put a fishing boat next to my unique improvement to give that a bit more food. Oh, delicious. So many lovely things. Yeah, this, this game is, it's not in any way confident right now, but it's definitely coming together a little bit better than it was a few turns ago. When I was fighting the Dutch, had a bit of a problem. It's, it's mainly the tech deficit. That's what we've really got to stamp on. I want to get to 200 science before either port Portugal or France does. Probably an impossible venture, but if we can do that, then we know we're going to at least start to catch up on a certain couple of things. Right, a couple of my galleys I'm going to pull back. These ones are still exploring. We'll go meet as many people as we can for the trade. You know, one thing I could do is go for the Yong Rush. Now, these things are incredible. 55 range strength with no knighter requirement. 60 when you put it into formations with something, anything, like any unit at all. 60 strength. That would be a enough to blow Portugal to pieces and look how much access there is to their land here. Taking Portugal's capital would give me pretty much uninterrupted access to this whole area. We could even go for Bordeaux. The, yeah, I'm actually now thinking about this. I do have another trick up my sleeve. Faith. We're going to George Michael all over the place. Quadrooms. 240. The more of these I can get, the more I can upgrade with mercenaries and then we can just have a rush of about four or five of them go straight for Portugal. It's hyper aggressive. But what isn't Ursa Ryan? <laughs> You're used to seeing it from me, right? It's Ursa Ryan. How is he going to play? Gently? Ha ha ha. No. Hyper aggressive. I just saw a French settler out at sea. This is the problem. France is probably going to start occupying the top half of this island before we can even get to it. I need to find trade partners. Sell my luxuries for as much gold as possible. As quickly as possible. Oh no. It's Empire Vicky. The British are here. Why is it that I've only met European nations so far? Scary stuff. Okay, she's got silk and appears to be... Oh, in Hong Kong. <laughs> Okay, that makes a lot of sense. She's got four cities, is doing okay. Yep, so far so good. She wants my iron. Of course she does. Everyone wants my iron. Lovely, and we've traded some luxuries. Got a bit more gold per turn. Meeting people I think right now is going to be the best course of action for me. Kill the barb camp. Another three era score. Delicious. Oh, England, you're so lucky. <laughs> the settler is in the ocean. I can't get to it there. Oh, I mean, there's no way I'd be able to survive that. There's probably boats everywhere. How many settlers have you got in the ocean. Oh my lord. Oh England, what are you doing to me? Don't do this to me. Oh, this could be a really, really bad move, but there's two settlers here. Oh, I'm gonna do it because I have to. Legally, I know we're not amused, but England, 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 England. There's one, there's two. Okay, I have no idea how we're gonna get all of these back. <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't made it quite that far. Can I get everyone else to join in on this war? No, no one wants to go to war with Vicky. They, they are too clever and, you know, it's, it's just me who's silly enough to do that. Oh man, if I can escape with at least one 
of these settlers? That that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Maybe I can just plonk it straight down, but the spearmen would take it back, wouldn't it? So, yeah. We'll work out the finer details in a second. I've almost circumnavigated the globe, by the way. That is useful. Oh, yeah, I feared this might happen. The AI needed an excuse to denounce me, and this absolutely is an excuse to denounce me because I have done bad things. Oh, the Kemmons. Wanted to meet you. Exchange of capitals. Yeah, so 13 population capital. That's that's nice. And that's a caravel. Okay, okay. We're going to regret this very quickly, I, I suspect. Very quickly indeed. Quick, make your way south. Maybe we'll escape. Maybe. Maybe we'll England will forget about us and we'll sail happily into the ocean. <laughs> Probably not. Finding a bunch of Portuguese settlements now. There's a lot on the coast that could be attacked by a fleet of ships. I'm just saying. Circumnavigated the globe as well. Lovely. So what are we on? Seven cities. Five, five, four, and five. So with this eighth city, we're doing all right, you know. Like this, this isn't too bad. How bad this going to be? Yep, pretty bad. England just stole it right back. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. It's, that didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Maybe You know what? Maybe maybe we will be able to escape with the other one. Please move your troops. Which troops? I, I genuinely have no idea what you mean. Please, please clarify. Vietnam. Oh, you are an amazing trading partner. Honored to meet you. Yes, let's exchange information on capitals. 10 population capital. I'm looking forward to seeing this map a little bit more because the South Asian space between Vietnam and, and Cayman land is, well, it's much bigger. Much, much bigger. So we should see a lot of interesting things on this map. But but look at all of these luxuries. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh God, this galley is going to get one hit, isn't it? It's absolutely going to get one hit and I'm going to lose both of my settlers. Oh dear. It felt like such a good idea until I realized it wasn't. Actually, I might be able to get other people to declare war on England. Yes, I can. Oh, you know what will help me here? A nice big global war. Look at this. Everyone in on the European powers. It's, it's all good. They are the oppressors. Maybe. I'm not the one who did the silly thing here. No, no. And this is is city number nine? Certainly is. I don't have sprawling empire. That in itself is ever so slightly concerning. All right, let's just quickly chop that rainforest down. We'll get a nice plus nine campus going as quick as we can. Feudalism time. I need better builders. Our nine cities need, you know, we're working a lot of unimproved tiles. We should really start paying attention to what's going on around me. France, I know exactly what's going on around me. I'm losing all of these settlers, which were so rightfully mine. Oh no, the caravel appears to have disappeared and they appear to I, I don't know what they've done. That's fine. Portugal, I'm going to be settling all around you. Don't. We're, we're not even going to get into that lie. Oh, what's a few barbarians though? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Retreat. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll take that settler and then move this one away. But why do I feel a sense of unease about this? I think I just finished another campus though. Which one was it? This one. Plus six. That's 12 more science per turn coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. Vietnam. A friend of mine. Amazing. I might have just ruined my relationship with Kama, but never mind. At least I've got one friend. Let's slap the harbour down. Don't forget, these harbours are going to give adjacency as well. Speaking of naval tradition, 100% harbour adjacency, that would be a good one, but there's no point rushing that because I don't have any harbours and I won't do... Oh no, my capital will have one. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards as quick as I can on these choices. 10 population capital. I tell you what, 70 science looks a lot better than the 50 I had a couple of turns ago. Yeah, this is slowly starting to change now to something a little better. I am being invaded by barbs. I did burn down their home. I do accept that. That That is a me problem. But I wish they wouldn't come back and try and burn mine down. That feels like an escalation that's just not fair. Oh, a city-state. Another city-state. Oh, 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 there's 18 envoys in this city-state already. Okay, that feels like a lot. Should we leave that one alone? I probably should leave that one alone. I'll tell you what, I'll give it one envoy and then it counts as two. But yeah, I'm, I'm leaving that one well alone. Portugal's had enough of me and is denouncing me. Mm, that doesn't feel good. I've seen quite a few of their unique caravels already. They, they've got at least two or three of them skulking around. Don't like that. Oh, look at all these French cities as well. You know what? I, I feel like we need a bit of a theme in this game. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play nice with the what I would call local empires of this land. And I'm going to do my absolute best to eliminate the European powers as best we can. That's kind of going to be my unofficial goal for this game. We'll see if we can pull it off. But that could be fun if we do. 
I'm going to need quite a few boats to do that. But if anyone can do it, all we can. Maybe. It's a big old maybe there. All right. You know what? I've actually managed to get these settlers away. Just slightly concerning. Where is England's fleet? It's out there. I'm actually hoping that the declaration of war was really handy. I think we might have pulled someone. Yeah, the Camons, we may have actually triggered something that they were scared of there. I mean, probably not. It's probably the AI just being the AI. But that's what I like to think has happened. My capital has a harbour. That's pretty decent as well. Because urban planning? Yeah, urban planning is good. But I'm going to put naval infrastructure in now. Which gives me another three adjacency on the harbour. And then three more science in the capital. Up to 82 now. Capital needs a lighthouse. Let's join the lighthouse family. It could lift us up. Y you never know. That's an incredibly topical joke for you there. Let me know in the comments if you got that one. Chop this out. Oh, excellent. Chopping rainforest down. Is there anything better to base our economy on than just the endless chopping of rainforest? Mmm, so healthy. So healthy. Okay, one thing I need to actually think about doing now is just getting enough units to give myself a little bit of an invasion force of Portugal. This 13 population capital city they've got is such a target for me. You know what I often say about just as a player, you have to be laser focused on whatever advantage you're going to be running. Any tactic, anything you're going to be throwing at the enemy and using my faith right now to get these quarter rooms. That's my second one. Yeah, this this is going to be good. So I need to put the boat card in as quick as I can. We'll upgrade to a man at arms there. I've got a nice little archer just manning the pass, making sure that Portugal can't get any ships out without me knowing about it. And I've got lovely farm triangles now appearing that feudalism is going to boost. There, there are some decent cities here actually that I'm starting to produce. It's going to take me a little while to get them off the ground. I tell you what, these extra settlers we stole from England somehow, somehow I think we've actually managed to get them out unbelievably. Just don't ask too many questions. That's all I'm going to say. We'll just accept that it's probably fine and England isn't going to swoop or like just, just appear with sea dogs and redcoats out of the ocean. Just spiraling with cups of tea and redcoats flying everywhere. That's what England does by the way. I live there, I know. You can't move from a house for redcoats just everywhere. Every day. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's get cartography next. Here is feudalism. That means that I can produce five charge builders. Mmm, delicious. With wine. Oh my goodness, my cities have everything. Well, you stole my city state. Give that back. I'm supposed to be the only people that know about this one. This is my little secret. My little secret, but it's not a secret at all. It's probably public knowledge by now, but I'm gonna claim it as mine. Come on, England. You know you want to give me peace five turns until peace. Oh, you don't you denounce me. I want friends. Friends against our oppressors. No. Oh, you're so boring. Probably should have seen if they wanted to go to war with France. That would have been quite amusing. Okay, very briefly, I'm going to pop Maritime Industries instead of my Harbour card. It's going to lose me a little bit of science, which I'm not very keen about. Some decent trade routes available, but that is another envoy, and I will take it immediately. Lovely stuff. Oh, I've actually got these settlers back to my land. Two movement per turn. It, it has been painful, but we might even do this. The World Congress is about to meet. Every time I see that, I have this horrible, horrible feeling that they're about to meet to discuss the fact that, that I destroyed the, the Netherlands, which I don't think is what they would be talking about, but you're never quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a, there's a like plus seven campus on this island, which is that's just amazing. Love it. That's my third boat. As you can see, I've got one, two, three. I'm just saving up my gold now. I think I'll probably need about four or five yongs to take at least this city. But look, there is a passage all the way through. So I could go one, two, three, four, and just take all of these cities. Portugal only have 300 military strength. Now, it's more than mine. Like, I, I have no illusions about that. But it, this is sneaky. I may get away with this. No, emergency one wasn't for me. Good, good, good. I don't know what's going on, but oh, a lot of people have just sprung into existence and Yong Lei. Oh no, the scourge of deity plus plus has arrived. 69 population. Very nice. And 300 science and 200 culture per turn. Ah oh dear. Right. Hello Germany. It's quite good. It looks like three versions of China did spawn in. I don't know what emergency that was that went through. Lots of military emergencies. How are people doing? Seven cities for Quinn, four for Wu, three for Frederick, four for Genghis Khan. Eat the young lay. All right, good to know. Oh, the world wants iron. Yes, I will be your warmonger. I will be your arms dealer. You know I will. It would be my honor. And yes, I will buy all your luxuries before you all decide or remember that I have committed many war crimes. I offered every single one of these AI friendship, but none of them accepted, which is a bit of a shame. And they're all going to denounce me and hate me because of the ridiculous grievances of 150 I've generated. I know. I know. Even I can bear Look at it. Okay, this city state's gonna be 
absolutely nigh and impossible to keep hold of now. Germany just dumped eight envoys in. I think there's a distinct lack of envoys where everyone else is. Someone's just built Venetian Arsenal. Good. I love it when people, I absolutely love it when people get techs or wonders, which I don't even have a tech for. That makes me feel so good. Oh well, sometimes when life gives you lemons, settle on some mercury. It's the best thing you could do. Gee, it is the best thing you can do. What about the world? Oh yes, the world will buy my mercury. Selling it all to China. That's the best thing I can do here. Oh, lovely. Yes. Oh, I love it when this happens. Absolutely love it when this happens. Okay, everyone's announcing me. Ignore that. This is the religion being spread to me at the moment. It's the warrior monk religion. Yep, that's it. That's the one we're getting. Of all of the religions we could be getting, it's the warrior monk religion. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. How have we not got sprawling empire yet? Why does this worry me so much? I don't know. I don't know why it worries me so much. I think it's just, I'm, I'm worried that AI is going to be miles ahead of me at this point. Oh, Yongle is not even the tech leader at the moment. Ah, yes, that's wonderful. Don't worry, Babylon isn't in this game. We've already had an experience of Babylon with all of these mods, and no, we're not going to do that again. We squeezed one more of these boats out. Portugal doesn't look like they've actually expanded the size of their navy at the moment, which is pretty handy. We both know the sweet melancholy of the sea. Yes, there's a border collie with a watermelon stuck on its head. That is the ocean. I couldn't describe it better. One turn away now. One turn away from mercenaries. I've just been slowly grinding the science up and up and up and up, waiting. Waiting so patiently. So I like to make little narratives in my head as to why Indonesia might look to take on Portugal. And I think this city was the reason. Coimbra. It, it is the first city on my landmass. They were on their own little island for the largest period of time, but this, this is a step too far. This is what caused my empire to galvanize, to switch out serfdom, put in the most amazing naval infrastructure, and then to invent the idea of a professional army. Now I can half price upgrade. Now we have our unique unit. One, two, three, four of them as well as a bunch of caravels. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know how effective this strategy is going to be. I've even got a man at arms. Portugal didn't know it at that point, but that city, that was the one thing that went too far. It snapped us. It snapped our resolve. And now we're coming for them. And they're starting to catch back up into the pack now. Portugal is still six techs ahead, but look, they're in sixth and I am six from the bottom. That's not too bad. I've just actually finished another campus. Oh, I can make peace with Vicky. She wants three gold per turn for those settlers. You know what? Go on then. Okay, the grievances are going to start to wear down against her now, which is lovely. I think she's even got a luxury I can buy. Yes, I'll give her another three gold per turn. You know what? That seems fair. So what I'm going to do is start to move a few of my units where I can into the ocean. That means that my very powerful unique units can then create an escort formation with them. It means that they share their movement speed, which is wonderful, but it also gives me another plus five combat strength. I actually don't have enough troops to do that with everyone, but it's all good. Oh, look, and now, hmm, that is a very powerful unit, but my Hyongs should be able to blow these to bits as long as I can attack sequentially and logically. Look at all these galleys being upgraded. I've got a very powerful navy all of a sudden. Very powerful indeed. Portugal are probably going to ask me, hey, uh, sir, why are there so many troops on my border? And I'll say, oh, I don't know, reasons? Oh, yeah, leave your boat in the city. That, that sounds like a great idea. All right, let's see what sort of world war we can start. I like a good world war. Oh, yeah. Vietnam will declare on Portugal. Now it's just about going through everyone we know and seeing if they want to get involved. Yeah, England wants a scrap. Lovely. So does Germany. Amazing. And Mongolia. What has Portugal done? Oh, masterful art of diplomacy there from Ursa. Young Lei will even go in. I don't think any of these people are anywhere near. I guess that's why they're willing to declare war, isn't it? They're nowhere near. Okay, looks like there are some units, but not as many as I could have feared. That's okay. We're going to just try and clear the waterway, get to capital with uninterrupted access. That's my goal here. I have more boats than I have space for. That's quite useful. Oh, this is a plus nine campus. Is that my best one? I think that is the best one that I could build. There's so many that I've got on the way right now. We're expecting a lot. There's a plus six, a plus nine, a plus five, a plus three, a plus four, a plus four, a plus six, a plus seven. There's a lot of good stuff. Gee, I need to put my card back in my government as quick as I can. Where is uh, Goodwood doing it? Theology? No, we'll get civil service. See if we can get a military alliance going. Okay, okay. They're moving their troops around a little bit, but that's okay. I'm building up my infrastructure behind this wall. God, this little bay is both brilliant to attack in and terrible, like at the same time, but punching through their boats. We're destroying them faster than they're destroying mine. That's the main thing. Okay, the counterattack. Oh, 
yep, they're just attacking into me. Fine. I don't mind that at all. Ignore that volcano. That's melting one of my cities, but it's fine. It's barely of importance to me. No, 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 no. It's all good. What really matters is over here. I'm just gonna use my caravel to strike into that. There we go. We've claimed another sea tile. Now I can move another Hyong in, and we can go one, two, and start to really pile in the damage here. Now they can attack my boats all they want. I've got reinforcements. I can cycle charge this. Even if they put a wall up, I should be able to blow it to bits pretty quickly. My units are very, very strong. This is the most difficult bit. As soon as we push through this section, I'm going to spill through this little narrow channel and hit Faro and Porto almost instantaneously. Oh, I tell you what, do you fancy a military alliance? Go on, you know you do. Oh, four gold per turn is worth it. Okay, that's five military strength against all of their units now. Amazing. Mongolia likes the fact that my cavalry is an embarrassment. Do I have a cavalry? That's probably why it's an embarrassment. That's, that problem probably went right over my head. How many turns of this rock age have we got left? 11 minimum. Okay, we've got enough time to start building up a couple of builders here. I hope. That's fine. Oh, look, the, the Portuguese Navy is reinforcing itself now. That's why we brought more boats than we needed. We learned from our little scrap with the Netherlands. And oh yeah, 148 science per turn now. We just had another campus finish. A one, a two, and a three. Yep, you can't beat the Indonesian Navy. Well, actually, that's a lie. You very much could beat the Indonesian Navy. <laughs> We're not going to experiment with that one. We're going to hope that no one tries too hard to beat the Indonesian Navy. Oh, a pillage. Oh, thank you so much. 50 gold and 50 gold. Is that it? Is that all these Portuguese routes are going to do? It's a bit disappointing. See, while I'm stealing all this gold, you know what I could do? Start building a couple of universities. My capital could do some because, of course, this is my Pingala city. So let's go one and then two. Oh, 155 cents. I wanted to get to 200 before everyone else. We're on course, but it's going to be very close. Some more voting. All right, Portugal. Can oh, actually, right. Loads of diplomatic favor over here. We know which religion this one is. He says, totally forgetting which one it was. Hang on, which is being spread to me? Confucianism. All right, let's vote on that. And I'm going to say that probably the world dislikes Portugal the most. Or me. Let's vote for myself. I it's probably going to be me. I would rather take the diplo points than I would worry about the effects of it. No, Vietnamans or anastrianism. We didn't get anything from that. Oh, dear. It's the fantastic Horse Island. Look at it. It would have been a brilliant campus, but no. It's Horse Island, and we will enjoy Horse Island. Yes. Any sources come from this island? Like lasagna. Portugal's done that amazing thing where they've actually built themselves a boat with a privateer in the city, and thus, because they can't move it out, they've double stacked it, and the privateer couldn't attack. I've done that myself. Yes, it's a bit of a bug in the game, but I have actually done that myself, and it's really annoying when it happens. Oh, they counterattacked. They killed my caravel, which was guarding their capital, but I I think, as long as I've calculated this properly, I think this could be too little, too late, as that volcano ruins my little monologue there. Let's bring this caravel forward, switch everything around a little bit, and then attack with this Xiong, and then take the city like so. Bam. Lots of boosts as we realize that I think I'm probably teching up quite nicely from doing that. Okay, printing. I'm going to build that university myself. I'm going to just industrialize as quick as I can. That's probably going to be what I need to do, but look at this. What Portugal's capital has been taken. That is quite the achievement. My caravel is now oh, promoted and military allied. We are hitting back hard. Actually, let's just sell what I've <laughs> stolen immediately. Yep, I want to get myself that 1,000 gold as quick as I can. Yeah, actually, yeah, okay. we'll sell it immediately, and we can now afford the next university. University, and bam, printing, done. Did you see my science went down, even though I built the university there? That's the effect of a couple of cities becoming unhappy happy. It shows you how effective happiness is and why I always try my best to make amenities count in any game I'm in. All right, it's all about momentum now. Spill my boats through the little channel. Promote. Upgrade. Let this city fall apart from loyalty. I don't even need to take it myself. Actually, if we can totally destroy Portugal before that flips, that'd be perfect. Oh, actually, Braga will allow me the canal. I was just thinking, actually, I needed to wait. Bring some of my ships to the other side in order to take that city, but I don't. It's all good. It's all good. We figured it out. I figured it out. Oh, the barbs are getting very fruity in a lot of locations. We haven't really bothered to build any walls or defending army. That is my mistake. Yeah, look at this. This is not necessarily a lovely thing to come and see. So we've got to actually think about doing this logically now. Quick. In everybody pops. Come on. Give yourself all the promotions that you require and head north. That's what you need to do. Yes, this is good. Ignore the barbarian problem. That's what we should all do. All the way. <laughs> 
Take it, pretend it's not happening. Military emergency. No, no. Okay, this is genuinely quite bad. Enough people have gone to war with Portugal that I might get a lot of people voting it down, but the reality is the AI is probably going to vote up on it. Yes, France and England have both declared on me. Oh, and Kemma. Interesting. Okay, France is the one to be worried about. The European powers, they realize the threat that I possess and they are banding together to try and stop me. Hmm, can't can't have this. We can't have this. Dear oh dear. Well, my plan is basically to keep conquering everything else whilst they fidget around on the other side of the world. If they attack me, they attack me. That's fine. But I've just taken Pharaoh. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, fool? Portugal will be out of this game before they even galvanize themselves properly. I'm to 183 signs now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you know one thing I haven't done? One thing I haven't done are oh, the channel supporters. I love to name units after them as a small thank you for all of the supporting you do for the channel. So here we go. RB Hedge, you are this magnificent caravel unit. Polar Waller Bear, this Hyong, Silver, this wonderful man at arms. Portland, this beautiful archer, which I'm actually going to treat to a crossbow upgrade. So there you go, even better now. And over dealing with all of these barbarians, that is uh, Major King Kong. You are a warrior at the moment, but don't worry, we'll, we'll upgrade you in a second, unless you die. In, in which case, I will just move the screen over in this direction and we'll never speak about it again. Yes, the responsible way of dealing with military inadequacy. <laughs> That's the Ursa way. Yeah, there we go. Major King Kong using the hill and the river to your advantage, stopping the swordsman from getting in. Will you survive one more attack? Oh, I think so. I think so, fortified as you are, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. Meanwhile, Portland, look at this. Fish in a barrel. Bam. Oh, that said it would kill it. How dull. Okay, my fleet of ships arrives. Porto is under assault. Oh, nobody can resist the Polar Waller Bear assault. And Darby Hedge won't take the city this turn. That's fine. I'll plunder the trade route. 180 gold, that's a bit better. I was wondering what was going on with that one. Felt like I wasn't getting anywhere near enough. And yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I think we'll, we'll double take the city as well. You know what would be really cool right now? A great admiral. That would be handy. Never mind. Sure, it's fine. Oh, you want to put walls up, do you, Porto? Oh, no, no, no. You don't understand how late that is. Oh, there we go. Major King Kong single-handedly fought off about three barbarians there. You're not going to be able to move. You're going to have to stay there forever, but well done. Before we've even finished taking Porto, this is the disrespect that I'm showing Portugal right now. I'll move my troops around and bring the next fleet in. I don't even need the original fleet. No, not even needed. There we go. Porto taken. That is four cities taken from Portugal now. This one will just flip via loyalty. Altavira score that one. That's beautiful. We've got two more. This is a wonderful little canal city as mentioned before with pearls and amber and then we've got a three shot against France. I think I can at least take one, two, three cities if not four. Let's eliminate these European superpowers from this area of the map. Don't like them. Oh that's a significant French navy making their way south. That's a good thing I spotted that one I did. Okay good to know. Barbarians are pillaging my harbors and are generally being annoying. I need more of a navy. I very much made a bit of a skeleton fleet and used it to attack Portugal. I didn't really make anything to protect myself from fleets of barbarians. I know. Funny. Ursa not protecting himself from barbarians. Who would have predicted it? Ah well I'm sure it won't come back to haunt me at all. Just bring this boat through and can I make the hit without needing to commit my better boats to it? I think I can. There's Braga and there's another temple which gives me divine right. Excellent. Monarchy time. We do love a good monarchy. Serfdom oh, is a really good card but natural philosophy is giving me a lot. It's Republican legacy. This is the card I really, really want. I'm going to have to take naval infrastructure out briefly. I've only got a couple of turns on the science from harbors anyway, so I'm going to have to lose, but I didn't quite get to 200 science. It's really annoying. Never mind. We'll make it another way, I'm sure. Maybe. Where is the wall card? Limes. I prefer lemons personally, but this will do. And veterancy. Oh, yummy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, we lose a little bit of science from our harbors, but never mind. Yeah, France are going to try and use caravel, seemingly, to liberate man. Malika. I like it. I like that sort of aggression. That's it is hilarious. Oh, Major King Kong, they crossed the river to attack you. I might have to pull you back into the city, you know. I might have to pull you back into the city. I don't mind it. You're worth
worth it. Back in you come. Heal up properly. We'll upgrade you once I've figured out how. Okay, the golden age. What do I want to do? I could start really pulling in gold here, or I could focus on the settling. Now let's have a look at the continent split. I've got maritime Asia on all of this space. If I were to settle on these continents, Southeast Asia, and all of this landmass, I would get Hicksonk Draconas. That is tempting. That is really, really tempting. Or I could go monumentality and just use my faith for builders, but I think I'd rather build all that stuff through. Yeah, Hicksonk Draconas. I quite like this one. A little bit more loyalty, using my settlers nicely, and next turn, Portugal will lose this city. That is handy. That is very, very handy. So what I can do is actually take Portugal out of the game without generating any grievances. So here is the first aforementioned city with another harbour. Don't mind if I do some more amber with, oh, I've got so many copies of amber. No one wants to buy it because it's probably the most abundant luxury on this map. Never mind. But there we go. Portugal's now on one city. This will flip and I won't take, oh, actually, to be fair, I won't get any golden age era score for taking them out of the game, but I also won't get any grievances. So, you know, a bit of a win, bit of a lose. And now my fleet, you make your way through and we're going to assault France now. Oh, look, boats. Go on, men. If you want to try and throw a bit of a navy at me, you are very welcome. I don't think you're going to have as much fun on this one as you think you are. Liang, where does a city with very good production? Malacca. Oh my lord, I have no production in my empire. My best city has 16. That is terrible. Oh dear. Okay, I'll pop you in there and then we can start producing builders somewhere useful. Get really high level builders. And I'm going to put my war governor into Rira, just on the coast of France. It should be good. Oh, England's bringing a boat to go and pillage probably my one trader. Ah, this is admittedly quite annoying. Portland is my first four promoted unit. Look at that. You are welcome. Now, you're not very good at blowing up caravels, but we want to keep this city for as long as the emergency is here. Walls will throw up next turn. That'll help. Okay, France can just absolutely gut my Hyongs if they go into close combat. That is a bit of a problem. But at the moment, I don't have my military ally in on this war. If I can get them, if I can get Vietnam to declare on France, that seems quite apt. And we should be good. Portugal's out of the game, everyone. No era score, but also no grievances. Reinforced hull means that I can name this caravel Garrett Gowan. Right, hold against this French fleet. It's gonna be tough, but we've got reinforcements. Just don't let them through. Vietnam does want to go to war with France. Excellent. Now that helps a little bit, but I do need to use my caravels to make the proper attacks against the French fleet. Now I could give my units a little bit of a chance to heal, but I don't think it makes any sense. I think I'd rather get the experience and heal that way. That's gonna be the better way of doing this. It's just much quicker. Yeah, there we go. The victory is ours. Another promoted boat. Clint, welcome to the Navy. And Polar Waller Bear is gonna open up the salvo on Nantes. I can take that city in Bordeaux at the same time. I think I can probably hold the loyalty. Is France in a golden age? Yes, they are. That's not ideal, but we'll have to deal with that one. Okay, yeah, France just hit their boat into my city wall. I love that. I love that. It looks like the French and English navies are just gonna try and liberate Portugal's capital. They're gonna ignore everything else. I love that about an emergency. You know the AI will do that? You can plan for it. One good hit there. Perfect. Two good hits there. I'm gonna let you just attack into the city. Garrett's just gonna heal. Go on, man. What are you gonna do? Okay, so far so good. This city is under assault and we can now hit Bordeaux at the same time. Yep, it just attacks into Clint. All right, fair enough. Oh no, sorry, Garrett, not Clint. This this pass is mine. You do what you want. Oh, I lost the city to barbs. That is embarrassing. I had done a calculation in my head and I thought it was safe until the walls got up. Whoopsie. <laughs> Okay, that's um, that is highly embarrassing. Ignore this. Do as I say and not as I do on my playthroughs. That's what I'm going to be saying to you right now. Okay, this barb boat is really annoying me now. I could attack into it, but it's just going to heal. So I think I'm going to just let them attack me. Get a builder over to go and fix things. I'm, I'm making a lot of builders right now. Like builders are, are very handy for me. They forgive a lot of sins. And I, I certainly have sinned in this game. I've done a lot of very silly things. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's just knock all of these boats out of the lake. Bye-bye. Can we take both cities in one go? This is going to be tough, but Polar Waller Bear makes a decent case for that. Okay, that attack going in. Bordeaux's on low health. Now, the question is, will I have the melee attacks to attack both at the same time? Probably not. All right, we'll wait until next turn then, but this so far has been pretty good. This is going to be damaging for France. How many cities have they got? Seven. I'm going to take two of them. France have bombards. Okay. I mean, that is useful, but that would have been more handy 
me if you'd finished these walls before I attacked you. Just saying. Oh, there you go. The barb couldn't help themselves. They pillaged on full health. Good, good, good. Now I can attack because I've got a builder on the way to come and fix things. So that works lovely. My unique improvement actually improves with civil engineering. I'm not far off that, you know. Not a million miles away. That gives me another production. That's something to look forward to. And now on to industrialization. Oh my lord. Young Lay is in the atomic era. Don't think about that too hard. 500 science. Oh no. They're not even the tech leader. Oh no. Almost up to 200 science. We're doing all the right things. We're just doing it way too slowly. Arby Hedge into Nantes and Clint into Bordeaux. Between the two, we have hopefully made a decent case for loyalty. Only minus three and minus 16. Uh, that's not as good. Okay, right. We need to keep pushing. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.